Shield or no shield, the only way out of here is Five, through me. Four, three, two, one. What's up guys, one by the J Root Productions. Today we're gonna take an exclusive look at this awesome GameStop exclusive from ThinkGeek, Marvel's Red Hulk. Let's go ahead and get it started. This is on sale from ThinkGeek for only $34.99, marked down from $46.99. Thanks, Colin, at Thank You for sending this awesome product, along with Harley Quinn, which I've yet to review. So let's go ahead and take a look at this awesome box. The box is definitely legit right there. And on the back, this shows you what it looks like inside. It's a GameStop exclusive Diamond Select Toys. So make sure you check them out online. So let's go ahead and do a quick unboxing. And we have Green Hulk on the left, feeling a little bit envious. Here we go, guys. I'm a big fan of the Hulk. And I'm so happy to have this in my collection. Oh, wow. It's definitely wrapped up properly. Look at this. And it also contains this little brochure. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and pop this open. Look at that, just busting out. Whoops, there goes the green hulk. Oh my goodness, guys. Look how freaking gorgeous it is. I only have to zoom in on it comparing to the ultra cheap Marvel Avengers Titan Hero series hulk that you see on the left, which I paid for about $11. There's no comparison. Let's go ahead and take an exclusive close up look. Here we go. Check him out, guys. His hair is slicked back. He's super angry. I'm going to explain a little bit about the Red Hulk in just a minute. Look at his veins. It's all popping out. He does bench press all day long. Even squats. Busting through his denim black jeans. Stepping on top of the world. On the boulder. Look at that. Look at the pecs. And look at the traps on him, guys. The triceps. Even bigger and swole, more swole than Mr. Universe, whoever the current Mr. Universe is. Even Arnold can compete with that. It is quite heavy, guys. I'm going to have to admit, this probably weighs around, I'm going to say, like, close to, like, um, four pounds. Here's what the bottom looks like. It's nicely detailed. Oh, my goodness. Hard plastic. None of the parts are moving, though. Unlike the green hole that you see on the left, but I'm not... I'm not complaining. See, it swivels a little bit, but it doesn't matter because it looks freaking awesome. So, a little bit about the Red Hulk. Who is this the Red Hulk, you ask? As a young man, Thaddeus Ross, enlisted in the military and received his nickname from his troops because he struck like a thunderbolt when leading them into action. Now he has become the very thing he hated most in life. He is the Red Hulk. Now, Throughout the history of the Hulk, he came in different colors, just like Jolly Ranchers. I am going to range him from the weakest to the most powerful. The Grey Hulk is the weakest of the bunch, but yet he is the smartest. So he uses his brain IQ to win his battles as opposed to brute strength. My condition is worse than I thought. I, I'm, I'm colorblind. No! Yes! Yes! A gray hulk? I'm back! As we know, in the Infinity War, the Green Hulk was no match for Thanos with only one Infinity Jump. So, with five, the Hulk is just like a pinky. Cut it off, and he's done. And next comes the meat intermediate level is the Red Hulk. Even 
though it's not the same person, but the Red Hulk, he gets mean. He, uh, his strength is probably like 75% of the Hulk, I would have to guess, the Green Hulk. And next step, the utmost level is World War Hulk. Which I don't have, but you see the Green Hulk. It's basically, um, World War Hulk is basically the Green Hulk with all the extra armor and uh, attack gear and weapons. It's pretty awesome guys. Make sure you check out Wiki and read uh, Marvel online to check out the exclusive history behind all these different hoaxes. I'm just totally amazed by how articulately detailed and just how well it stands out. Look at his teeth guys. Look at how detailed it is. It kind of reminds me, this kind of reminds me a little bit of like a Linnell U type of art. It has this, he has this distinct, distinctive artistic style to it. So it's not like McFarlane or Jim Lee style, but yet it's truly outstanding in itself. I love it. So if you're in for an awesome Red Hulk and to be part of your collection, make sure you check out Think Geek online. I highly recommend it. All on a scale 100%. percent I'm holding this up with 95%. Until next time, take care of yourselves. Keep your anchor in check.